right, everybody, welcome back. This is uh, episode three. So we've gotten our iron tools, as you can see here. So we are cruising along. I guess they're down here at the bottom. Uh, we're doing really well. We're going to move back to the mine. I'm still not sure why the oxidizer isn't working, but that's beside the point. So we're just going to have to make sure that we're keeping uh, a little bit of oxide there. I'm going to put this stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move back over and continue to mine the area that we already had because we want to make sure that we have everything that we need. So let's go ahead and put the wood in here at that there uh don't don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content don't worry we're gonna be doing plenty of videos on this game okay so we've got most of this stuff pretty well okay let me move this uh move the stone we're gonna need to get some more stones here soon i'm gonna take one piece of wood with me as i normally do we've got some stone arrows which is good i want to take one of these and i'm gonna take some sticks just in case because you never know all right let me go ahead and plus up uh let's go ahead and move this over here and I can see that I need some water. So we're going to go ahead and go down here. Get us a quick drink. Okay. So we're looking pretty good. I want to move back towards, and we know the mine is this direction. So we're going to move this way. Probably going to pick up some more oxide on the way. Just to make sure that we got enough. Since I know where the mine's at, I'm going to move this way. So let's go ahead and get this just to get it. You can never have too much oxide, that's for sure. Hopefully we get the oxidizer up and running the way it should. Every once in a while, I think it's just, you know, as they optimize the game, I'm sure they're going to fix that, which will be good. Because we definitely need that to be working appropriately. Makes things a little bit easier. You're still going to want oxidizer on you. Ultimately, there's better ways to do it, but for now, that's okay. Alright, so our cave is up here. We want to continue to make sure that you're paying attention. You know, don't just go running, running around not paying attention because things will not go well so to move into the arctic what we're really going to need to be focused on is getting the right weapons that we need and then of course the uh the clothing so that's that's probably the most important part for us as we move so we're going to almost have to get to we need weapons that's for sure i know that because we made it as a group we made it pretty far so i know that you know we can't walk in there with uh with just arrows and uh, and be effective at all so we're not going to even try that okay so we drop that down here what you will notice is we'll get more so before we we're getting in the 20s now we're in the 30s so you can see the difference on having these and then the next setup would be the steel and at some point we'll be able to get that as well we're not going to be focused on that today for this one we're going to be focused on getting some more iron we're also going to try to get some copper so we'll need that as well for some of the stuff that we need. All right, let me pick this back up. All right, let's see if there's anything back here. Got to look in all these crevices. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get this as well. So we definitely want the coal. Not a major thing right now, but we're going to take it. Okay, and we're already overweight, which is perfecto. Okay, we want to throw these out. We definitely don't want that in there. Really didn't get as much as we wanted, for sure. I don't think I have the ability. I do have one point, but I don't think I have an ability to increase my actual weight at all. So that's not going to do us much good right now. And there's nothing else I can do. So the only thing I can do is we'll throw the meat out. It's really not that much. How much is that? A thousand? That's two thousand. And that's fifteen thousand. So it looks like the wood's probably going to be the, the key to... Oh, here, let me throw some of that over there. Um, the wood is going to be the key here, though, to, to drop weight. Okay, we want to try to stay out of that water if we can. I really don't want to drop, jump in there and catch something that you can't shake off. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run back. Now, one of the things I did talk about that, that we could do if we wanted to... We're not going to, but I could craft basically the crafting bench here. And then I could also, inside of, after crafting that, I could craft a stone furnace as well, if I wanted to. But for this episode, we're not going to do that. Probably should not be running down the middle of the thing here. Pretty good chance I'm going to run into something that's not going to like me. But that's okay. Let's see if we can stab this dude. Nope, missed him. I tried. Thought he looked at me strange, but he didn't. 
Okay, we'll, we'll get back to the house, and then I'll show you. We're gonna drop this stuff off, and then we're gonna head back to the cave. Alright, we made it in. We went ahead and popped some of the iron in here, get that stuff rolling. I'm gonna put this uh, coal over here for later, because we're gonna need that. Stack those two together, just so I got some additional oxide. We're gonna take care of that here in a minute. I'm gonna go against what I always tell you to take. If I need it, I can always grab it. And we still need to take this. Now, the thing with the weapons, these down here, I'm not going to be able to use this repair hammer anymore, so realistically I can get rid of that. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and... Because we do need more storage bins. Let me see if I can put another storage right here. See if that will work. Yes, it will. Okay, so put another storage area just because we're going to need it. Just throw that down there. Okay. Alright, there we go. So now we've got us some pretty good storage areas. Okay, we're gonna throw that meat outside. Alright, let's throw this over here. Let's throw that over here. And then I'm gonna move these bones, leather, and fur. And we're gonna put those in here. And I will situate them real quick. Sorry about that. Alright, we're gonna let this roll. And I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but it is broken. So we're now pretty light. I'm going to throw this out here just because we can cook that a little bit later. We got nine more meat, so we're doing looking pretty good there. Throw that in there because that'll make some more charcoal. And then let's roll back over here and uh, I'll see you in the cave in a second. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, we made it back to the cave. So we're going to run inside of here. Again, I'm still going to look one more time, make sure there's nothing else up here. Because you never know. This stuff's everywhere. Okay, because I don't think we looked on this side much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to, well, yeah, let's go ahead and get some copper. We can use that a little bit. So let's Q. Yeah, again, looking good using the iron tools. We're getting more of it since we're using those, which is positive. Okay. I don't think there's going to be any more up there. So the problem is we really don't want to get in the water unless we have to. Okay. So there's there's some right here. So we ain't going to have a choice but to get in the water here. Okay. I think we got about as much as we're going to get from there. Let's jump back over here. Now, I know there was uh, some copper up here as well. Let's go ahead and get that. All right, hold right there. It's nice just to have something. The other thing you can bring in here too is, uh, you wanna bring a campfire in here? That's always, it's always nice, it's always welcomed. Okay, we're gonna drop that there. So we probably won't um, spend a lot more time in this cave. I'll see where the rest of this stuff's at, but I don't think I'm going to be spending a lot of time trying to get every single little piece of it out of here. We can always come back here later. Because you can see that that's a pretty open hole. Now, it does look like I can come up over there. So that may be worth uh, going over. And that looks like that's going to take us everywhere we need to go. So the only thing is then getting back over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, chance it. Probably not a good thing to do, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, it worked. It worked well for us. Getting back is probably going to be a little bit different. <laughs> okay, so we're still at 75, it looks like, for weight. So still doing okay that way. All right, that's good. And there was some copper back here. Actually, no, it's aluminum, and we cannot take that yet, so that's good, though, because we can use some aluminum, and there's plenty of coal in here, there's some more copper, let me jump over here, let me see what was up here, I know there was something around this corner, right? Uh, I don't think so, I think that was it, other than these right here. Let's see if I can drop it up here and it doesn't fall down, okay, that's good. 
Okay, so we'll try to get the rest of this iron. Don't stand on this, uh, don't stand on the torch either, because, uh, good things don't happen when you do that. Okay, so it looks like we've gotten almost everything we're going to get out of here. Okay, so we're going to try to jump back across over there. And then kind of go from there. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. That was fun. All right. Well, I think we'll get through here at some point. Okay. So we got about all we can get out of here, which is good news. We've got us some copper and everything else. Now, the further that we go out, it's probably a good, pretty good opportunity that I'm gonna be taking stuff with me, or I'm gonna be able to have the stuff with me that I can smelt all this stuff on site because I really don't want to have to continue to run back. This was just close enough that it, that it made sense to do it. I don't think I would uh, I would not recommend that you do this if it's a long distance. Especially solo. If you had more people with you, that's a little bit different. You can put the items down, always grab them, and then you're probably going to have to run back that direction anyway, depending on where your base is at. Obviously, the further out that we go, we're going to be setting up different types of bases and stuff like that so a lot of our observation points as we get try to get closer our goal is ultimately going to be to to move up here so we're gonna have to move all the way up to i5 that's where we want to be but right now we're just trying to build ourselves out and get ourselves as close as we can possibly get to that okay all right so let's go ahead and throw all of this in here iron copper okay let's move these in fact we're gonna go ahead and move these over we don't need that in there no more. We are going to go ahead and... So the masonry bench. So if you're wondering, you know, for some of this stuff, what do we have in here? So we have most of the stuff open. We could get the skinning bench in some of these if we really wanted to. The the mortar and pest would be good. I've got enough points that I probably would get it or, or the uh, herbalism bench. Those are good. I can actually start moving to get some of these too. Looks like I can go straight to the next set of armor up. Carpentry bench. So that's all the stuff for inside of the house. So you've got bigger, bigger items there that we could get. Okay, and then tier three. This is where stuff starts to really get really good. Get the portable beacon. So the canteen we definitely want. Right, because that's going to make life so much easier. We definitely want the Oshkin tank. You can see with both of these, though, we need steel to make those. So that's just a little bit harder to get. We don't need to worry about the glass for now. Here, let's just scroll over. Okay, we don't care about the construction. We will care about the construction at some point. The concrete's really where we want to be. So over in here, uh, that's going to be pretty important, especially when we get into the snow. But right now, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so these two are pretty important. We definitely want those. And honestly, we should do the fire extinguisher as well because it makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> okay, cement mixer we'll want at some point. All right, let's go back to tier two. I think we've got about everything on here. So we do want the health buff paste. That's always nice. Okay. The other, so I'm just opening up some of these because these are all things that are good for you. Uh, I don't really need any of that. We will need this later. We're not going to be able to use it right now. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. <laughs> and I think from a tier one perspective, I could do some bandages. Oh, we could do the antibiotics. That's always good. Anti-parasitic. It's always good. Floor torches are, are not bad. Okay. I guess we could do 
our building tool upgrade, so that's nice. Let's make things a little bit easier. Okay. So that's good. So we're going to start focusing right now on building out our clothes that we need. So we're going to go ahead and move into getting these. So that's your leather chest and those items. So to get that, we're going to need the armor bench. So let's look and see what the armor bench is going to cost us and what that's going to be like. Okay, armor bench is all the stuff we have. So fiber stick, wood, and stone. Okay, so let's do stone. I don't think I needed that, but I'm still going to grab a fiber stick, wood, and stone. Okay, there we go. Armor bench, craft that. Probably should go ahead. We can get the rain reservoir as well. That's nice to just capture water. That way we're not drinking out of the daggum water thing out there. So let's go ahead and get sticks and stones for that. Okay, sticks. Oh, we already got sticks. A little bit more, so I, I think I need some more stones from outside, right? Um, yes, okay, so we just need wood. Okay, let's grab some wood. Okay, herbalism, okay. and then the only other thing we may do, I think that's about all we're going to do right now, and we can start on the machining. But we need epoxy. So let's see if we've got the epoxy opened. We do not. So that's why we're going to need that. So we'll need the epoxy as well. So that's your tree sap. And then your tree sap we're going to get from sticks. So that way we can get those. So we can actually put this in somewhere. And that reminds me we're going to do that. We're going to need some sort of a bench or something to set this stuff on. See if we can find a yeah. So there's some copper ignit right there. So carpentry bench. Okay, so we need rope as well. Okay, so that's great. All right, so let's move this over. We're gonna do the armor bench first and the herbalism bench. So we're gonna put those in. Let's go ahead and put. See if we can put the armor bench right here. Yep, sure can. Okay, that's perfect. And then the other one we want to put is the herbalism. Now, I'm actually not going to do that. So what we're going to do here, we put this stuff over here real quick. I want to go ahead and I want to see if I can push this out just a little bit more. Make it just a little bit bigger. That way we got a little bit more room for now. Okay, and just so everybody knows, so what I would be doing now is now that we really got a pretty good foothold, we're gonna get some pretty good um, clothing in place and all of that, I would actually start to venture out and start to focus on building another small little base that has the essentials. That way I can slowly start moving towards the mammoth. And as we move there, I'll be a little bit closer. I probably could, you know, sit here. It shouldn't be too, too difficult to get everything I need to start creating guns and things like that. I think we have enough to be able to do that, but I don't know that I want to try that. Let's go ahead and craft four of those. Let's craft two of them. We're going to need Okay, we're gonna need some more wood. Let's get just a little bit more wood. Okay, so we got most of the stuff we need. Looks like we got another storm coming. It's just minor winds, so I'm not overly worried about what it's gonna do to us. Uh, if I look down to the bottom, I can see that I don't have any of my buffs on, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and just as a reminder, Make sure that you're putting those on, and it looks like I could also use a little bit of water. So we're going to get that as well. Okay. Now I can see that the house is probably not super sturdy right now. So go ahead and put that in the... There we go. Go ahead and snap those in. Because I also know that I'm going to stick another floor here. 
So I just want to make sure that you know it's not gonna it's not gonna be ruined by doing that. Okay, and I think it was this way. I hate how it does this. Okay, just press R. There it is. Hmm. That could be a problem. Okay, so we're just going to make it a little bit different. No big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and make two more floors. Okay. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing? Don't worry. It'll all make sense. Okay. We're gonna pull these down. Actually needed more. All good. So I think we need some more fiber just to be able to craft those. So really what I'm doing is I'm just extending the place out a little bit just because we're gonna run out of room here soon. I gotta have room. I don't like to be cooped up, you know? I feel like you don't have enough room to do the things you need to do. So we'll grab some more fiber here. That way we've got enough to craft the rest of the stuff that we need. Grab a little bit more wood. Never go wrong with wood. I think, how much do we have? Yeah, we can grab some more wood. Just for the heck of it. Gotta love the iron stuff. It cuts so fast. And you see how fast we got it. I mean, realistically... We're only a couple hours in and we've already got, you know, a pretty good amount of... We've already got iron stuff. We're going to be able to craft our items that we need, you know, like our clothing and stuff like that here in a minute. So, we're not doing too shabby. Alright, let me get back over the base. This will take a bit. Alright, we made it back over. So, what I do want to do real quick is I want to... I know I need those other pieces, but... Realistically, we do need to make sure that this thing is sturdy. So that's the only thing about building like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we may or may not be good here. I don't know if I have enough wood. Yep, looks like we're okay for that. And then I'll have to get some more wood here in a second because I'm going to need it for the other pieces. Okay, so I want to get rid of this wall here so I can just press Y. No big deal. Then we're going to craft... Oh boy. Why can't I see it? Ah, right here. Yep, I need more wood. Okay, so let me go in here. Let me shut the door. How about you... Man, are we born in a barn? There we go. There's the wood. Okay. A little bit overweight. No big deal. So we're going to go ahead and out here. We want to go ahead and put up four of these... Craft those real quick. That way we get a roof over the top of our heads. And just like we did before, we'll need four of these. Let's craft those. And throw those down there. Okay, there's that one. This is always, uh, always a pleasure. Okay, yep. Gotta look here. There it is. And then this one's always the... Always the problem. I don't know how we're gonna do that one. Okay, I'll figure that out off of... Okay, so there we go. Got a little bit better here. I can actually come over here. Still sheltered. That's good. So that gives us a little bit more room. I actually, if I wanted to, I could put another door over here. I'm not going to, because we're gonna use that entire space for something. Okay put these in here. Okay, I need to check my oxidizer real quick. Yep, running a little bit low. Okay, so what we talked about is we want to go ahead and get the armor. So to get the armor, we're going to need leather. So we need lots of leather, and we should have plenty of leather. That's not in there. It's going to be not there. Is it over here? Yep, there you go. Okay, that's good. And then let's see what we have here. Okay, so we should be able to craft... Craft craft and then we need more fiber to finish it I'm not gonna take those out yet because I want to make sure I know exactly what I need to run over here we're gonna grab some fiber out here I could have grabbed it from my storage bin 
but at the same point I need to be able to see a little bit further out here so that way I can see if any bears come rolling up in here five minutes later okay so we went out got some more fiber which is great definitely started clearing this out so you can really start to see things much better out here so what we want to do in here is want to go ahead and get our armor finalized that way that's complete so we can see what we already have we have the these three pieces so we want to go ahead and do the leg armor and then we also want to do the boots okay so if you can see here the big parts here is if you look at what this is going to do it's going to be plus four physical plus three cold minus one for heat and then plus two for exposure the other thing to look at is the leather armor set so when you get all of them you get plus one for health and for stamina in some cases it makes sense just to put pieces of these on so don't get you know wrapped around the the idea that you know you got to have all of them i mean at the end of the day some of it's better than none of it so if you can get it i would definitely put this stuff on as uh, as soon as you can as soon as you can do that all right so let me drop some of this stuff off real quick get it out of my inventory okay you go up there why are you there you shouldn't be over there Okay, stick, stick. Yeah, we got plenty of uh, plenty of fiber. When you move into the Arctic, it's gonna be super hard to find uh, fiber. So just just kind of remember that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, if we look at the character real quick, just to kind of understand what it looks like, you can see over here on the on the right side the health, the stamina, move speed, all of that. Health regeneration is 50 per minute. And you'll see when I start sticking this stuff on, you're going to see it increase over there. So let's just kind of look at it. So put the head on. All right. Put the chest on. Put the arms on. Put the legs on. And then the feet. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. We've done pretty well. I'm going to continue to get some uh, some wood, fiber, and other things. As long as the server doesn't go down, I will uh, we'll be moving on to the next video. The most important part of this was really to show in a couple hours you can have you know full armor basically on, and then your weapons as long as you know you're the same level as as I am. So if you're playing in the beta, the good news is you've got these levels up because you've been playing already, and you've and you have the ability to kind of maneuver yourself up. If not, then it's okay. Uh, try to get with some folks do a little bit of co-op because solo is going to be a little bit difficult for you by yourself But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to slap that uh, like button if you like it and subscribe for more Icarus content We'll see you on the next one. This is Sarge signing off